We should see butterfly and the story of butterfly. We should not see anything else. So the lighting is, is behind it. The libretto tells the story. After the musician arrives, tells the story again with another way, because the libretto is very specific, very precise. The music tells the story differently. Third level, the set and costume, which tell again the story. The staging is another level. The way of acting, how they play, how they, they will explain it. And the lighting is the last level. The ultimate challenge for a lighting visualizer is to try to make your simulation uh, appear like nature. It's, and it's completely subjective because we all perceive light in different ways. It's, it's a very organic reaction. And it changes an infinite number of times depending on the quality of the surface, it bounces off, the colours of the surface, the shape of the surface. And all those factors need to be taken into consideration in a 3D model. No matter how hard we try, we're not able to make the lighting software really simulate the natural environment. My job as a lighting visualizer is to try to take my perception of light and recreate it on the screen for the lighting designer to try to give them the best chance of creating what's real. So Russ, centre the heat on me, yeah? Yeah. Then cut to head high. So you've got, you've got five of these running all the way along in this group. Oh, no, no, we need to be forward from sharp, yeah? Yes, stop! Do, 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 do. Come back a touch. There. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> that's it, Russ! You've got the job! When the lighting designers first come to me, I've already built the 3D models of the set. So I work with the model room and the set designers to ensure that the 3D model has been built accurately and to scale in our version of the Opera House. So the lighting designers will then start working with me to develop the lighting design um, on the computer console that we use to control it. So the idea is that once they have taken the lighting up here, they can transport it downstairs, plug it into the lighting desk, and we should, in theory, see the same thing on the stage. The standard rig that is common to all productions holds about 800 lights in it but no one production would use all 800. We then add in additional lights as the designer requires in certain areas. So for example, we've got a couple of additional bars overhead below us here, which are specifically for Madame Butterfly. On Thursday, it was the first day on stage for Madame Butterfly, and it had not been performed since 2007. Gary was looking after the refocus of the show for Christoph from all the notation and information that we keep from the original design that Christoph created here. We then have to revive the show for each performance and that's Gary's main responsibility then is to ensure that the show is fully refocused as to how Christoph set it from the original design. And a little bit more on set please. More, more. What's up? Yes, okay. Leave, leave it like that for now. I have to check it from the front with the full set. But that, that's a good, good start. This seems to be a good start too. And later you change the color. And okay. Light is necessary because it brings light. And also it, it brings the atmosphere, the mood, the color, so all about painting and picture, and also it brings the time. For example, in Butterfly, it's mostly daytime, and we, in first act we are going to the evening and night uh, by the end. All this is controlled by the fly floor, which is opposite us on the same level on the other side, and that's all computerized. So there's big motor houses up in the roof here, that actually control the winches, which are all encoded, so we know precisely at what height they're at in relation to the stage floor. And all those values with the lighting information are recorded into the computer, so the scenes and cues can be played back. And again, for archiving, we can bring all that back out of exactly what position everything was in the last time we did it. 
My relationship with the lighting designer it really depends on whether it's a new show or a revival. On a new show, we would have the lighting designer come up and we would work closely in this room designing the lighting from scratch. So every single light fitting would be programmed into the desk and I'd make sure that my theatrical model of the set is okay for him. In this instance of Madame Butterfly, it's a revival process. So Christoph didn't feel the need to come up here this time as he'd already done the work. So instead we had uh, members of the lighting team come up to recreate the lighting, making sure that technically it works so that when Christoph receives it on stage, it is in the full working condition and replicates the last time it was here when he lit it for the first time. So th this is one of the softwares that we use to uh, work with the lighting designers. It's, uh, it's a very bespoke software designed for, uh, for the theatre and for lighting specifically. And there's, there's not many people in the world that, that really use it to that extent, but it's becoming used more and more in theatre. And it allows us to select any light we want and then we can control lights directly in, in the software. Bring up group 16, please. And one last question. It is a very sad story, but it's a very true story. The set and the music and the singer and the light and costume are working together. I think it's quite accurate and quite good and also quite simple. We just tell the story as it has to be told. <laughs>